In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to install OpenLink's Single Tier Express Edition drivers for Microsoft, SQL Server, and Sybase databases on a Mac OS X client operating system. Before I begin the install, I do want to point out that it's a good idea to have your evaluation or permanent license key somewhere on your Mac system. This will enable you to use our installer's browse feature to pick up and implement the license during the install process itself. This renders your driver ready for use as soon as the install completes. If you choose to obtain a license Post installation, use of the product will be delayed until that license is in place. That said, let's begin the install procedure. Double click the disk image file that contains the product installer. Notice my SQL Server Sybase Express Edition installer is mul6esql.dmg. This .dmg file has produced a meta package or .mpkg file. We're going to double click that. A splash screen and warning dialog will come up. We want to click the continue button on both of these elements of the installer. We do recommend that you read the readme information associated with the driver. Once you've done that, click continue. And you should also take time to review the license agreement that ships with the product or driver. Provided that you do agree with the terms of our license agreement, click continue. Click agree. Select the destination for the driver. Click continue. You can use the Change Install Location button to obviously install the driver to a location other than the default. I recommend that you just go with the default location for ease of use. Click Install. You will need administrative privileges on the box on which you are installing the driver, so provide your administrator username and password. Click OK allow the driver to install. The driver is installed. Once we do close the final installer dialog, we will be prompted for the location of a license file. Notice that the license dialog has actually popped under the finder, so we do want to close out of this. There it is. The select license file dialog presents you with the options that you have for licensing your Express Edition driver. First, it points out the name of the license file that the installer is looking for. Here, that license is identified as ee underscore sql underscore lt dot lic. This is handy if you are not familiar with OpenLink's license naming conventions. If you do not have such a file, you can click the Try or Buy License button. This will take you to the OpenLink home page and you can use resources on that page to acquire either an evaluation or permanent license key. If you do have that license file like I do here, you can just click the use existing license button. Then you want to browse for the directory that contains it and as you can see it's right on my desktop. Just going to select that and click choose. You may see no additional input from the installer but you can be assured that your license file has been picked up and the product is installed, licensed, and ready for use. This concludes this lesson.